What's up you guys? My name is Tam, the aka Tam Cam, and I'm here with a new video. In today's video, I'll be doing a good old perm rod set with all of Camellia Rose products. Some of these products I never used before, and some of them are my ultimate favorite for I don't know how many years, okay? But before we get started into this video, if you are new to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Go ahead and click that red subscribe button down below, turn it gray, hit that bell notification next to the subscribe button so you can notify every single time when I post a new upload and you do not miss out on the goodness okay and if you do enjoy this video by the end go ahead and give this video a nice thumbs up which is very appreciative to me so i already previously washed and deep conditioned my hair my hair is actually lightly damp right now i didn't want it to be too soaking wet just because i do not want the drying process to be very very long because i am low porosity so let's go ahead and talk about the products that we will be using today with this perm rod set okay so the first product that i'm going to be using that i never used before is actually the camellia rose maximum hydration coconut water leave-in detangling hair treatment this is concentrated leave-in treatment for shiny silky and soft hair if this coconut leave-in treatment has a silky texture that combines coconut water with penetrating natural oils to provide maximum hydration and shine in a lightweight non-greasy formula and the next product which is my all-time favorite is the camellia rose Curlade moisture butter i have been using this for a million and one years now this has green tea and jojoba oil and it's made with love sis okay and the final product that i'm going to be using is the camellia rose curl maker now this is actually a gel um, that has marshmallow and agave leaf abstract and this is actually my first time ever ever using this curl maker now I have heard so many great things about this curl maker it has been sitting with me for I don't know how many months now so I was like you know what let me just go ahead and try it out with a perm I set and see if this might be one of my favorites so we are going to go ahead and test out all three of these products on a perm I set and see what the results are looking like okay sis okay so like I said I already washed and deep conditioned my hair it is so Slightly damp but not super damp so the first part that we're going to use is a coconut water maximum hydration leave-in conditioner okay so this is what the coconut water leave-in conditioner looks like um it's not watery at all it's a little bit on the thick end for leave-in conditioner it's almost like a little bit of a mild version of thickness compared to the Camellia Rose moisture milk so the smell of this leave-in smells really, really good. It smells coconutty, but like not too strong, but I love the smell of coconut, so it doesn't even really matter. I'm gonna go ahead and apply the leave-in first, then just a dab of the curly because I do not want my curls to be too weighed down. And then I'm gonna apply the gel at the end just to seal it all together. Okay, so next I'm gonna use my moisture butter. And this is what the moisture butter looks like inside. Obviously, you can tell that I have butchered this jar. Like, there's barely anything there. That's how much I love it. I'm gonna go ahead and take about this much and apply it to the section just because I don't wanna weigh down my hair and weigh down my curls with this moisture butter because it is on the thicker side. And the last thing I'm going to use is the curl maker. Now this is a sweet defining jelly and rich with smoothing marshmallow and agave abstract. Okay, so this is what the gel looks like. It's a little loose, but it's not super duper thick. And it's actually like pretty, pretty light. So it's not going to, I don't think it's going to have like a strong hold, but we'll see. Okay, so I'm going to just use that little bit on this entire section. So the color perm rods that I'm going to be using are these orange ones. I actually love these. I actually did a video with these orange ones for the first time and my curls came out a nice, beautiful size. So I'm going to be using those on my perm rods today. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and sweat off at the back per usual. And I'm going to do a little size that's a little smaller than this one. So I'm just going to go ahead and comb through this just to make sure that it is nice and detangled. I'm a two strand twist my roots just a little bit. And I'm gonna go ahead and take my perm rod and wrap it around and then roll up. So I actually like how these combination actually feels on my hair like my hair doesn't feel weighed down or anything like that 
which I'm happy for because I cannot stand like when you like put like collections together and they just don't like they don't match also I like the fact that the coconut water leaving conditioner didn't clump up with the curl maker um gel because that was something that I was actually afraid of that they wouldn't like mix well because I know sometimes when you mix like a different leave-in conditioner and a different gel together um it may not be compatible with each other it may actually like clump up and leave your hair like flaky and we do not want our hair to be flaky because tomorrow is single de mayo and i'm trying to look cute Okay, you guys, so I'm officially done applying all of my perm process into my head. So this is what it's looking like. So I'll be back tomorrow to show you guys the final takedown and how this combination actually looks. Okay, you guys, so it's the next day and it's time to check out these perm rods. They're fully dry. Let's see what these bad boys looking like. Okay. Okay, ooh child, look at these perm rods. Okay, Camille Rose, let's get it. Mm, 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 mm. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and just apply some oils to my hand to help with separation so we can see what these results look like with this combination, okay? Okay, you guys, so this is the final result of my perm rod set using all Camellia Rose hair products and sis. I am loving it, okay? Oh, I am loving doing perm rod sets. They are so cute. So cute. Look at this. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, so this gel, this curl maker, I love this curl maker, y'all. It is super duper lightweight. Like, as soon as I put this in my hand and rub my hands together, like, it feels like a nice creamy leave-in conditioner in a sense. Like, it's super duper light. Like, which I love. It's not a super duper thick jelly or anything like that, which I love. So I will definitely be using this gel again. I actually want to try a wash and go again. I have tried a wash and go in the past, but I want to try one with this one just because this gel isn't as heavy as I thought it would be in a super duper light. So, and this coconut water leave-in conditioner, I actually like this leave-in conditioner. It's kind of like on a less of a thickness of the moisture milk, the Camille Rose moisture milk, um, which is one of my favorites. So this one actually does give a lot of hydration, like it says, and moisture. It does say that it gives you maximum hydration, which sis, my hair does not look dry. So yes, I'm loving this. I'm actually glad that I actually tried to do this combination all together. I know it's like this has its own collection, um, the coconut water collection or whatever, but this is the only really thing that I have from the coconut water collection, I think. So I was like, you know what, let me just pair it with something just to see if it works. And then good old old faithful, the moisture butter never lets me down, hasn't let me down for years. I already knew this was gonna be good on my hair. I just didn't know if it was gonna be good with the whole combination, but obviously it is and I'm loving it. So yeah. So go down in the comment section below and let me know what you think about my permanent results with all Camille Rose products. And if you did enjoy this video, go ahead and give this video a nice thumbs up. And if you have not already, go ahead and click that red subscribe button down below. Turn it gray. Hit that bell notification. That's the subscribe button to be notified every single time when I post a new video and you do not miss a thing, sis. Okay. Bye, guys.